This is Brendan with QZEC Prep, and this video is going to be an introduction to circle equations as you might see them on the SIT, ACT, GRE, or GMAT. So what we have here uh, is the equation for a circle, and what we can see is that uh, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Uh, now each of these variables represents something. Uh, the values for h and k indicate the x and y coordinate of the center of the circle. Uh, r simply represents the radius of the circle. And x and y represent any point along the edge of the circle. So it's not just one point, it could be any one of the points that are along the edge of the circle uh, that makes a circle um, equal, uh, that makes every point along the edge of the circle equal distance from the center. So what I'm going to do is just draw a picture here. So here is what we have as a coordinate plane. So just your standard x, y uh, axes. And what I'm going to do is attempt to draw a circle in it. Uh, hopefully it comes out okay. Um, I'm going to put the center of the circle right here. And I'm going to call this point the point um, 3. I'm going to call this the point 3, comma 2. Uh, assume it's not drawn totally to scale. And then I'm going to try to draw a circle going around the outside of it. So not too bad, not great. <coughs> It'll do though. So uh, we're going to say that the radius of this circle is 4. Uh, so what that means is that if I were to draw a line uh, straight from the center of the circle down to any point, let's say I drew that line, maybe I drew that line, maybe I decided to draw that line, uh, all the purple lines should have a length of 4. So I'm just going to put that the radius that the radius is equal to 4. Now, once we know the radius is equal to 4, we can write our equation for our circle. And what that equation is going to be is that x minus 3. Notice how it's minus 3 even though the, uh, the center of the circle is actually a positive 3. That'll always happen. Whatever the coordinate point is, if it's positive or negative, sign's always going to become opposite when you put it in here. So you'd have x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 4 squared, which we know is 16. And that's pretty much it. That's how you write the simple equation for a circle. Uh, when dealing with coordinate geometry. Now it's a little bit different than your area equation or your circumference equation, uh, but this is how the SAT classifies circle equations in their official guide. So going on, what we can do is we just have a few simple example problems. Uh, let's say we wanted to write the equation of a circle that was centered at the point 3 comma negative 2 and had a radius of 5. So again, x and y always remain in the equation as x and y. Uh, it's going to be minus our h value, so minus 3 squared y minus negative 2, which ends up being plus 2 squared. And since the radius is 5, radius squared would be 25. Going on to the next one, an equation of a circle centered at negative 4, comma 5, we would have x plus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 36. For a circle uh, centered at negative 1, comma 3 with a diameter of 8, uh, it's how the SAT will make it just a little bit more tricky. Uh, just remember that a diameter of 8 means a radius of 4. So your circle equation is going to be x plus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 4 squared, which is 16. And finally down for problem 4 down here, uh, it would be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared. Uh, again, they say the diameter is 12. Watch out for that. It's really easy to think that that's the radius, uh, but the radius is in fact going to be 6. And so 6 squared would give us 36. And that's it. That's kind of your brief introduction to circle equations, where they come from, what they look like graphically, um, as well as uh, 
you know, how to write a basic circle equation given information like where it's centered and what the radius is. Uh, as always, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.